It literally feels like Doctor Strange's home. The lighting is so gorgeous. Looks like a botanical garden. But I told you guys I would save the best for last. This is hands down one of my favorite rooms I've ever explored and got to see. Oh my gosh, is that a real gun? Can't tell. countryside of Belgium, there was a big extravagant mansion. Built in the 1960s, it was home to a man named Arthur who loved art, alongside his wife Helen and their two kids Amelia and Theodore. Arthur filled their home with all kinds of artwork from all over the world. Helen used her good taste to make the home beautiful with decorations, but when the year 2000 came, things turned bad for the family. It was found that their wealth came from Arthur's illegal dealings with stolen artwork. When this was revealed in 1999, it ruined their good name. Amid the uproar, the family suddenly disappeared. People wondered, did they run away? Were they killed or did they hide somewhere? Nobody really knows. Not only that, but after the family mysteriously vanished, the bank took over their home because it was found that they owed a lot of taxes. To get some money back, the bank tried to sell the art collection, but because of the scandal, their value went down and depreciated, and people were put off by the house's bad reputation. As a result, Arthur's cherished art collection was left unused and became neglected. Now, as of 2023, the house stands empty, a shadow of his former self. The beauty it once had is now ruined, with his colorful art fading away. The curtains are all worn out, and the dust covers the once shiny furniture. Despite the bank trying to sell the mansion, its bad past keeps people away from it. While exploring, I can see that the rooms haven't been touched and still hold a bit of the family's lives. The house, though empty, feels like the family is still there in some way. It continues to wait in a state of uncertainty, not knowing what will happen next. moment we're trying to find the library room because we're just walking down the hallway and these rooms on the side were classrooms at one point okay we have an obstacle here the floor looks pretty dangerous but we're gonna walk through oh this part looks sketch right here oh shit oh. Oh wow, this stairway is yeah, gorgeous. It's That's why I said you have to come up. And there are nice rooms in there. It's quite dark in here. Check out the doors. It's the first time seeing something like this. They have like a little mailbox. The rooms are empty, but they look quite nice. All right, you won't believe this, guys, but I just found a church in here. I didn't even think there was a church. It's quite dark, so I have to use my light. But here are the organs. This is not what I expected at all for this place. This is beautiful. So we just found the library room. Oh my gosh. This is spectacular. Wow. It literally feels like Doctor Strange's home. Check out the desk. There's some stuff on it. Looks like some IDs. I guess these are some of the students that used to go here. There's like hundreds of them. But yeah, man, this desk is so sick. Especially how it's like in the middle of the room. Then we got this gate. I don't think it opens up. Oh wait, it opens. I thought it was locked. We can walk through here. But supposedly there's an alarm back there. 
at least that's what a friend told me. So let's just wait a little bit. Maybe we'll go upstairs really quick first. Looks like we got a group of explorers. Pretty sick. This place used to be very secured and now everyone's just coming here. Ooh, this is such a good angle right here. Wow, probably the best angle for a photo. All right, let's go over here really quick. Let's take a look at the shelves on the right side. Looks like there's a little gate here. I don't think we can open it from this side. What? Looks like there needs to be a key. Definitely want to check out what's over there at the end. But we got explorers. I don't want to be taking up most of their time. Let's let them take some photos first. Okay, so I just made it to the top level. It's kind of sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Walking through these rails doesn't feel that safe. But I just want to check out the books up here too. And even the railing, as you can see, kind of moves. If anything, I don't even trust the rail to hang on. Alright, this is a good view of the ceiling. At first I thought those were holes, but then I realized, wait, there's no rain damage in this room. And as a closer look, you can see that it's a type of glass. So if you're wondering what type of books are on the shelves, it looks like they're encyclopedias and there's hundreds or thousands of them just on this one side. Wow, I love how all the pages are just scattered on the floor. Definitely feel like I'm in another world. The lighting is so gorgeous. Oh, it's a statue of Jesus. I really love how the windows are so tall. It's bringing in so much light right now on a cloudy day. And look at the doors. That leads into the dining room, I believe, or the main hall. But we'll check that out later because I want to explore the outer rooms first. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. I guess this was their, their porch. But it looks like a botanical garden. I love it so much. tell that perhaps it had an amazing view but now it has overgrown trees through the window it's so green in here got a lovely seat looks like the last person to use it was drinking some wine so much overgrowth it's insane you know what I also bet that these rocks that we're surrounded by also had lots of water. They probably had like a fountain. Okay, looks like we have some stuff on the table. What's this? Looks like a bill. And we have a recorder. I just realized the floor has such a unique design, but it's covered by moss. You can see a pretty good view right here. Here's a newspaper from the 2000. That's roughly when this place got abandoned. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. I love how there's a mirror right here, right on the wall with the stones. It must've been flowing with water at some point. Must've been so gorgeous. Look at that, we have a hat. All right, anyway, I think we're done over here. 
Let's try to see where this leads. Oh wow, it's dark. Really dark. Alrighty, we're seeing a lot of things. Old and vintage. I guess this was used as a bedroom. Probably for like an elderly person by the way it looks like. I mean, this is pretty easy to take care of someone if they're right next to like the kitchen and downstairs. Would you look at that? We have a sewing kit and an old teacup. Wow, there's a lot of things on this table. I think this was like a thermostat to tell what temperature it was. At first I thought it was like a clock. Seeing a lot of photos in this room though. Take a look at that. The people that used to live here were very wealthy and came from a very influential family. And it definitely looks like that by these photos. That's one thing I've been noticing. A lot of these mansions were owned by people in the military, high-ranking officials. Oh, almost forgot the fireplace to show you guys. It's quite lovely. Looks like it's made of marble. This must have been the wife when she got old. It's a little strange photo to take. She looks very sad and as if she's trying to reach out to someone. Oh, maybe these were their kids. And you can see that a cross used to be hanging on the wall right there. But I guess someone took it. I found a bunch of medicine that they were taking. This was probably what the person was using when they got old and sick. Okay, I wonder where this door leads. It's a tiny little kitchen area. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a pretty cool antique radio. I love how this looks. It looks very high quality for such an old thing. So we got some stoves. This one's more modern over here. Wow, we can see a little bit of damage already coming from this door. Looks like this home was made of bricks. At least this part of the building was. They would probably keep all the kitchen supplies here. So we're back in this room. And I found a stairway that can lead us upstairs. This place had three floors. They sure had a lot of luggages. They probably traveled so much. Here's the first bedroom on the corner of the home. It's completely hoarded. So many things. Look at this antique doll. Creepy looking. Wow, we still have like perfume. I guess it was used by someone as a little office as well. Not sure how the floor feels, but I think it's sturdy. Yeah, lots of junk. Wow, this is a nice porcelain furnace. But they kept the room nice and warm. And look at the frame artwork here. And this is the first self-portrait that we're seeing. It's probably the guy that stayed in this room. And look, there's another room over here. Oh my gosh, is that a real gun? I can't tell. No, it must be fake. It's a little toy gun. This room looks so nice. I love how decayed it is. Perfect for an urbex photo. <laughs> the desk is so tiny. I feel like a female used this bedroom. Oh, look at this. This is the first time seeing colored photos in here. I wonder who this could be. She's very pretty. Yeah, this family was very religious as you can see. There's more photos. Yeah, these are very modern. I bet this was like their daughter's. Yeah, I'm starting to believe this was like the daughter's bedroom that stayed in here. It's not that old. Oh, look at this radio set. It's by Low Opta. I never heard that brand before, but maybe it's mostly known in Europe. And here's their bed. You know, the pink color kind of makes me believe that this was definitely a female's room. I can see a calendar over there. I wonder when it ends. 
Oh my gosh, it's so hard to step through. I want to see the calendar. So that calendar dates back to 1969. We have more artwork here. I probably have to blur that out. It's like a naked person. Let's take a look at this wardrobe. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Huh, so many ties. This room was definitely used by a male. The mattress looks so big. Must have been really comfy. Do you guys happen to know what this thing is? It's like a weird little flashlight. The perfume still has some liquid inside. We're going back to the hallway over here with the stairway. I never really showed you guys it in detail. But when you come right up, you can see a little shrine area to pray. Hmm. Not much in here. Looks like just some closet for storage. They're really bright up here. I think this might lead to another bedroom. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow, that's beautiful. And that's the, the bathroom. I have a feeling this was the master bedroom. Hmm, or maybe not. Looks like a regular lounge area. What's this, a box of chocolate? Wow, look at these sewing kits. <laughs> so far, a lot of these abandoned homes in Europe always has a sewing kit. And you know, back then, this was a very big hobby or skill that most women would know. And usually it was taught by the mother how to do it. Yeah, crazy to see a big change. You know, sewing is not really taught anymore at all. Same with other things like cooking. Advances in technology, you don't really need to cook anymore. You can just use Uber Eats to order food, get your food quick. Look at all these little clocks. Here we have a photo. Hmm, there's a girl there in like a wedding dress. We have more photos here. Don't know if it's hard for you guys to see. Yeah, it looks like all the fireplaces got renovated and they installed these modern furnaces. Wow, we have a lot of old photos here on this little table and some notes. I wish I knew what it said, but I'm pretty sure this is all in French. Someone definitely placed this here for a photo. But check out this antique TV. It's quite unique. It has like this pig engraved in it. I think it's part of the TV too. Oh no, it's not. It matched really well. I thought it was like attached to the TV. Anyway, we still have some liquor here. Oh no, it's cologne. That's a giant bottle of cologne. And we have a very antique radio or record player from Sony. Okay, let's see this bathroom. This is really nice. It's big. You had your iron tub right here. Can't believe some things are just left behind as if it's frozen in time. Even like the bar of soap is still here. All right, I wonder where this leads. Okay. Oh, it leads to a stairway. <laughs> okay, we're back here again. I want to take a look upstairs. The ceiling is collapsing. Oh, it looks like this leads to the attic. It's very destroyed up here. And moldy too. You can see the ceiling is caving in. Probably because of all the weather and the rain and the storms. Yeah, this will definitely be collapsing in a few years by the looks of it. Surprise, I was expecting this to be not so organized. But yeah, that's the end of it, guys. We made it to the very last room. All right, everyone, so I've just entered another part of the building. It was quite the obstacle, but yeah, starting off right here in another kitchen, much bigger than the last one. Yeah, this place is massive. You can easily get lost in here. Yeah, this is how this kitchen looks like. It's very modern. As you can see, well, not that modern, but at least you have like an electric stove. I'm guessing, you know, they did some renovations here. And the last family must have been some young couple. It's just weird to see that they would leave this place behind. Oh wow, we're now entering the dining room. There's a piece of artwork. It's uh, a tiger. 
This is absolutely beautiful. This is a really big fireplace. It's so wide. You have these porcelain tiles on it. And, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to blur this. It looks like some naked artwork again of a female. It looks better on this side with the light shining through. You know, I'm not that impressed with the seats. They look pretty ordinary to me. Take a look at this relic. That's so cool. You have like a priest slaying some sort of dragon or demon serpent. Jeez. This must have cost a lot. You can see a good example of what I mean by how big it is by looking at the sofa. We still got the carpet here. And here's the floor tile. I'm not really sure if it's French inspired. It looks pretty Spanish to me. But yeah, it's a lovely dining room. I also like the ceiling with its beams. All right, we're moving forward. This is the main stairway, I believe. What's up, Jess? Yeah, my friends are just chilling, waiting for me, because I take forever. <laughs> but yeah, this looks like the main entrance, huh? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's facing the main stairway, so that's usually the case. You just found old, old money. You just found old money? Yeah, from France. Oh, can it still be used? No. No, no more? Now we have the, the old currency of France. Wow, I see. But we're in Belgium, so it doesn't make any sense. Right. So was it a Belgian family that lived here or a French family? We found some photographs. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, we're just talking about my setup right now. It's definitely improved the videos. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you've been liking the new videos lately. Also, look at this. We got like Chinese dolls here. I mean, I'm pretty sure the family traveled a lot, so they probably got these as souvenirs. But yeah, I guess this is the closet where they would put their jackets before they left the door. It's not really a grand entrance, as you can see, but there's so many cobwebs. That's how long this place has been abandoned for. I just noticed the wallpaper here. It's like very Asian inspired. And this is how it looked like entering the home. And then you would just walk to the main stairway. Let's head upstairs really quick. I think this might lead to some other bedrooms that we didn't see. Well, these stairs are steep. Wow, this hallway is really big. Looks way different from the other one. Jeez, there's so many rooms. Looks like the rooms from up here are quite empty though. I'm not sure where to start, but I guess we should check out the rooms in this hallway first. Okay, this is actually where we tried coming from, but there was like some sort of camera over there. I don't want to step out just to be safe. I don't even think it works, but I just want to be 100% safe, you know? Oh my gosh, look at this bedroom. I love it. So neatly organized. First time seeing some green carpet like this. We have a teddy bear. Could have been a kid's room. Well, look at these shoes. I think they were just meant to be, I think these weren't meant to be used. It's just a decoration. Oh my gosh, look at this chest, guys. The carving on it is insane. This might be too bright for you. Here we go. Now you can see all the little details. I wonder if there's anything inside it. Take a quick look. Okay. We have a weird lamp. Oh, it smells funny in there. Oh, this is a pretty interesting mirror. You were able to like swing it around and move it. Oh, oops, don't want to break it. I wonder why they would have that function. It was quite amazing. I like the frame. Hmm, nothing catching my eye yet on this shelf. Oh. That's a nice little porcelain doll. Let's check out the last room. It's empty. But I think you guys will appreciate the wallpaper here. I love the mix of colors of the blue and the pink. It gives a very happy feeling. It smells so strange. 
Hmm. We have a rock collection. I bet these rocks hold a lot of memories for the person that once lived here. And that's it. Just a tiny little closet now. It smells like smoke in here. But yeah, look at how big these cobwebs are. This room is nothing but a home to spiders. This caught my eye. There's like a picture of a baby. Ew. What's that growing? Some kind of mold or fungus. Let's, let's walk down here now. There's a lot of debris on the floor. Came from the ceiling right here. Mm, not so interesting, but it's big. We had a bathroom attached to this bedroom. But I think we can get there from this door over here too. Wow, it's really clean. You had a shower and a tub in here. It's really big and nice. This room looks crazy. I guess this was some sort of entertainment room. Had a pool table right there. Look at the kid toys. I bet these are really vintage now. Wow. I love this baby cradle. It's so beautiful and cute. And look at this. It's like a little school desk. Hey. There's a book about Barack Obama here. There's too many pictures of people in this home that I don't even know who could have owned it. But they look quite wealthy. Oh, this is actually a ping pong table. Must have been fun for them. Oh, what's this? Are these like little herbs? Oh, it's like pepper. Bunch of just ingredients, I guess. And look, a toy box. Looks like we have a Nestor Martin furnace. You know, I haven't shown you guys the main hallway yet because I think it's the grand finale. I'm saving the best for last for you. Look at this. This must have been a room where they would store all their art and antique that they would auction off. Some of these will still have price tags on them. Whoa, it's a shotgun shell. Oh my God. It's unused too. Jeez. Yeah, let's hope we don't encounter anyone with a shotgun. Yeah, we still have the price tags on them. It's a tight squeeze through here. Oh, there's a piano. It's a grand piano. There's a price tag here too. I guess this cabinet was worth, I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> Two thousand dollars? Wow. All right, guys. So we're now entering the last room. This is the best room in this mansion for sure. All right, you're, you guys ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. It's a little bit sketch though. It's a little outside. Okay. Wow, look at this giant furnace. Oh my god, it's so green in here. Feels like I'm entering like another world. This is so nice. There's the garden where we came from. But I told you guys, I would save the best for last. Oh, this is definitely the best fireplace I've seen so far. And look at these antiques and relics. Gosh, so nice. And the wallpaper has like this royal feeling to it. But yeah, this led to the back garden. And this is a stairway also leading upstairs. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This kind of looks like a dining room. Wow, I love the table and the chairs. It's a very nice set. You can see they put a lot of detail into it. I love the natural lighting in here that I don't even want to use my flashlight. Oh, this is the same guy that we've been seeing. This was probably the owner for sure, since we've been seeing him a lot of times. There's more photos here too. The wallpaper is quite interesting. They look like gardeners. Here's a newspaper from 1977. Oh, and here's a young photo of the couple that lived here. Gosh, this is hands down one of my favorite rooms I've ever explored and got to see. Look at this, it's a horse on wheels. And after all of that, we're now back to square one where it all started, the beautiful garden. I don't think I explored this part yet though. It might not lead anywhere else that we didn't see. 
Yeah, I mean, we already checked the floors upstairs. From the looks of this, this is a storage room. Look at all the gun shells here. Yeah, some of them are not even used. But this must have been another room where they would keep their antiques that would, they were auctioning. All right, everyone, it's windy. Hopefully you can hear me. We just made it out, mission successful. And now we're having some Swiss chocolate and some Swiss iced tea. But have oh my God, we got Swiss everything up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You were in Switzerland, but you didn't get anything. I'm very I know. disappointed. No, but you saved me now. <laughs> I'm a true Swiss person. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be heading off to Paris, but I just wanna say that was an amazing explore. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button bell. Also, check out the squad that I'm with right now. The links will be down in the description below. Urbex.ing. Relict and places. Yep. With an, with an underscore. Make sure with an underscore. <laughs> <laughs> that was truly amazing. One of the best time capsules I've ever explored in Europe so far. Uh, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite room. And yeah, until next time, guys. Don't forget to live a life of freedom and water. I'll see you all next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.